Jarvis, you there? At your service, sir. Initialize sequence. Jarvis, drop my needle. Heads up display. Check. Report all preferences from home interface. Will do, sir. Jarvis. Hey. All wrapped up here, sir. Will there be anything else? All right. What do you say? Are you pertaining to the L'Hopital's rule, sir? Yes. Yes. I have indeed been uploaded, sir. We're online and ready. We start the virtual walk around. Importing preferences and calibrating virtual environment. Do a check on control surfaces. As you wish. Initiating system one. System loaded. Tony Stark makes you feel he's a cool exec with the heart of steel. Skip the spinning rims, we're on the clock. All right, all right. Very well then. Let's start with the indeterminate form, 0 over 0. If two functions f of x, and g of x, are both 0 when x equals a, the fraction f of a over g of a is said to assume the indeterminate form 0 over 0. In this case, the function f of x is equal to f of x over g of x is undefined for x equals a, since division by 0 is not permitted. However, f of x may approach a limit as x approaches a, the process of determining this limit, if it exists, is called evaluating the indeterminate form. Take a look at this. When x equals 1, the fraction, x squared minus 1 over x minus 1, has the form 0 over 0, and hence, is undefined. If the functions f of x, and g of x, are continuous, in an interval containing x equals a, and if their derivatives exist, and the derivative of g of x is not equal to 0 in this interval, then when f of a equals 0, and g of a equals 0, we have the limit of f of x, over g of x as it approaches a, is equal to the limit of the derivative of f of x, over the derivative of g of x. This, is L'Hopital's rule. Let's try to evaluate the limit of tangent x, over x, as it approaches 0. Substituting would result to 0 over 0. Thus, we use the L'Hopital's rule and get the derivatives. The derivative of tangent x is secant squared x, while the derivative of x is 1. Substituting 0 on the x makes the secant squared x equal to 1. With that, the answer is, 1. If the application of L'Hopital's rule, results in a fraction, which is also indeterminate. The process may be repeated. Take for example the limit of x cubed, minus 5 x squared, over x cubed, plus 2 x squared, as x approaches 0. Getting its derivatives would result to 3 x squared, minus 10 x, over, 3 x squared, plus 4 x. When substituted with 0, it is still undefined. In this case, we can repeat the process. Get its derivatives again, and the result would be 6x, minus 10, over, 6x, plus 4. Now, we have an answer, which is negative 5, over, 2. Next, is the indeterminate form. Infinity, over, infinity. If f of x, and g of x, both increase without limit, as x approaches a or x approaches positive, or negative infinity, 
the fraction f of x, over, g of x, is undefined, and is said to assume the indeterminate form, which is infinity over infinity. Let us take a look at this, example. The given, is the limit of x squared, over, e, raised to x, as x approaches infinity. Substituting, would give us the indeterminate form, infinity, over, infinity. So, we use L'Hopital's rule. Getting the derivative of, x squared, over, e, raised to x, would result to, 2x, over, e, raised to x. This would still result to the indeterminate form. So, we use L'Hopital's rule once again. Getting its derivative again. And now we find ourselves with the answer, 2, over, e, raised to x. Substituting, would then give us the final answer, 2, over, infinity, or simply, 0. Let's move on to the next example. The limit of x squared, plus x, over, e, raised to x cubed, as x approaches infinity. Substituting would result to the indeterminate form, infinity, over, infinity. So, we use the L'Hopital's rule. The derivative of the numerator in x squared, plus x, over, e, raised to x cubed, is 2x, plus, x. While for the denominator, the derivative is 3x squared, times, e, raised to x cubed. This would still result to infinity, over, infinity. So, we use L'Hopital's rule, once again. We now have, 2, over, 3x squared, times, e, raised to x cubed, times, 3x squared, plus, e, raised to x cubed. Simplifying, would give us the answer, 2, over, 9x raised to 4, times, e, raised to x cubed, plus, 6x, times, e, raised to x cubed. This gives us the final answer, 2, over, infinity, which is equal to 0. Let's take on some exercises, shall we? Given the limit of x cubed, minus, x squared, minus, 4, over, x squared, minus, 4, as x approaches 2. When we substitute 2 to the given, the answer is equal to the indeterminate form, 0, over, 0. So, we need to use L'Hopital's rule. Get the derivative of the numerator, x cubed, minus, x squared, minus 4, and we will have 3x squared, minus, 2x. Now we will get the derivative of the denominator, x squared, minus, 2, and we'll have 2x. Substitute the value of x, which is equal to 2, in 3x squared, minus, 2x, over, 2x, and we will get 12, minus, 4, over, 4. Finally, the answer is 8, over, 4, which is, 2. Let's take a look at number 2. The given is the limit of ln x, over, x raised to n, as it approaches infinity. When we substitute infinity to ln x, over, x raised to n, we will get the indeterminate form, infinity, over, infinity. So, we get the derivative of the numerator, ln which is, 1, over, x, and the derivative of the denominator, x raised to n, which is n, times, x raised to n1. Next, we will get the reciprocal of nx, raised to n1, and we'll have 1, over, x, times, nx raised to n1, or, 1, over, x, n, x raised to n1. Now, we will substitute the value of x, which is equal to infinity, and we will have 1, over infinity, times, n, times, infinity, raised to n1. Finally, the answer is 0, because 1, over, infinity, is equal to 0. 
Let's move on to the third exercise. The given is the limit of arc sine x, over x, as x approaches 0. When we substitute 0, we will get 0, over, 0. So, we use the L'Hopital's rule and get the derivative. The derivative of the numerator is, 1, over, the square root of 1, minus, x squared, and the derivative of the denominator, which is equal to 1. We can now substitute 0, to, 1, over square root of 1 minus x squared. Finally, the answer is, 1. Let's take a look at the final exercise. The given is the limit of x, over, square root of 1, plus, x squared, as x approaches infinity. When we substitute infinity, we will get the indeterminate form, infinity, over, infinity. We can now use the L'Hopital's rule and get the derivative of the numerator, which is 1, and the derivative of the denominator, 2x, over, 2 square root of 1, plus, 2x. This is simply, x, over, square root of 1 plus 2x. This can be simplified to, 1, over, x, over, square root of 1, plus, x squared. Now we will get the reciprocal, and multiply it by 1. Then we will get the square root of 1, plus x squared, over, x. We will now substitute infinity, and we will get the square root of 1, plus, infinity squared, over infinity, so we can cancel infinity. Finally, the answer is, square root of 1, which is also equal to, 1. There you have it. That is the L'Hopital's rule, sir. Now, continue saving the world.